Okay, I'm back again. Let's cancel this out. I opened it and closed it. Okay, I figured out how to use my view packs. I was going to use a view pack, but all of my view packs are the older ones that I've, you'll see in the video. I'm just going to mash this video in with the other one. It's probably going to be a really long video, sorry. This is the older style view pack. The newer view pack has that green dot on it. So what I did was I didn't want to go buy a box of view packs. So what I did was I took the label and look, you can see I've already used this over time. I just take this label and lay it on top of it when I do it. Because when you put this in here, I'll show it again. Stick it in there. Oops. Okay. There is a little lens in there. There it is. A little blue lens. And it reads, I don't know if it, it might read that green dot. And if you notice, on these packs you see the color coordinated. Look, that one there is brown. This one's purple. Okay, so it says oops. What I do is I take this, it's got a hole in it, and I just match it up with that hole. Just lay it on there. Back right down. Okay. Move it around just a little bit. There you go. Carav, there's a two, three, four. Remember that brown dot that was on that view pack? Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select the four. And I believe, I believe 4 is a default setting from someone else's video that I watched. And I'm not sure what that heart means. Oh, you can favorite your flavors. I didn't know what that heart meant. So you can favorite them, I'm assuming. Yeah, add favorites. I don't want to add it to a favorite. I do like Sleepy Time. I do like the Sleepy Time, though. Okay, so. Get my coffee cup ready here. I'm going to do it in my Starbucks cup. I knew there would probably be easier, there would probably be an easy way around it. Nothing's permanent anymore. There's always hacks around things. Anyway. I did watch a video, but I mean, I knew from the beginning there had to be a way you could lay it on there and get the same result. I mean, it's just an islands that's reading the top of that label. And what I did was I just cut that label off the top of a K-cup that came with the machine. I didn't want to go buy a whole new view pack just for the top label. I already have view packs from my old machine. And I didn't want both machines out taking up as much space. Oh, I waited too long. Okay, four. That work. Boom. And it is brewing. So I'm pretty happy that I can use my other view packs. I, like I said, I figured I would be able to. And I was gonna, I was bound and determined to find a way around that. If I had to make a sticker myself or something. I don't know, print a label off the internet and stick it on there. But it works perfectly. It, it has worked perfect for me so far, so I can't complain one bit at all. I love this new machine. It's really, really nice. I actually like it better than the View. And I had my View for two years, and I got a really good deal on the View. I think I had won a coupon on Facebook for 50% off on the View. And then this one, I got it on QVC just this past week. Well, I got it today, but... So there it is. So then you just take this off, save that little label there. I'm going to save this label to use on my other old view packs. So, and also I, I guarantee you they're going to phase out the older machines and because they won't read these labels. The old machine doesn't have a way to read labels. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to phase out the older machines to where you have to buy their the Green Mountain brand or whatever brand they, 
that Keurig is going to do. But there's ways. I mean, there's ways to beat the system, so to speak. So, yeah. I got my Sleepy Time Tea from my old view pack. Um, thanks for watching.